we've had more discussion of data in the mainstream news than I can ever remember, certainly. And I think that's really healthy. You know, people are now engaging with something that's very important to our lives. And that's the precursor to be able to exercise our choice wisely. And we've seen great examples of data usage in the pandemic. So I think of Tim Spector's COVID symptom tracker, which was started at the very early in the pandemic. Simple idea. But it's provided us with so much useful insight and seemingly there's a very strong appetite for people to participate in that kind of greater good exercise. And um, we've also seen all sorts of challenges over trying to have safe and trusted ways of sharing data, particularly between the public and the private sector and comparing international data sets. And I've seen a lot of work behind the scenes to say that's not good enough. And in future emergencies in particular, we've got to be able to share data with public benefit. I don't think that any of this stuff is simple. And I think that, you know, there's a real pressure almost on engineers to make sure that they are working collaboratively with social scientists, with ethicists, understanding how to ensure that the tools that they develop are developed in a way that reflects societal norms and expectations. And that's something that we as engineers have to think hard about. How do we equip our engineers and technologists with the skills and mindsets and you know, tools to collaborate so that they can do that really responsibly. So it's work in progress, I would say.